whispered gestalts or aclalia. Think about Brick from the middle, that character who would whisper to his stomach and perform immediate echolalia. I see this happening a lot with our Gestalt language processors and or neurodivergent clients and loved ones. They will whisper their Gestalts or whisper their echolalia. And if you're wondering why, here's what I think. I've observed this at any age group, but I do see it a lot with my adult clients. And I get the question a lot of how do I know I'm a Gestalt language processor as an adult or what does Gestalt language processing look like when you're an adult? And sometimes it looks like these whispered gestalts. Now there are two reasons why I hypothesize that these are performed in a whisper. One of them is that it is a sensory thing and having quiet language is easier to process and maybe more regulating to process. Perhaps the language is processed better or makes more sense to the person if they don't have to focus on the intensity or loudness of the language and just focus on the content of the language itself. Or, and this one is a little bit sadder, but a lot of people who are Gestalt language processors, their language as a Gestalt language processor, specifically in stage one, when they are performing and processing and storing gestalts is not validated by others and they might feel the need to whisper or keep that language to themselves and protect it. Gestalt language processing just became widely known and it's not even wide enough, honestly, but there are a lot of adults out there who are Gestalt language processors who either learned language by really, really working hard and not being validated or maybe have not learned conversational language yet. And so a lot of teaching them language is kind of going backwards and going back to their stage one type of language and validating it for them and then modeling alternative ways to use that communication or just simply sitting with them in that language moment. So don't forget to validate our Gestalt language processors and whisper back. Since this is all hypothesis from my experience as a neurodiversity affirming speech language pathologist, I'm wondering if there are people out there who whisper gestalts or whisper echolalia and want to offer a reason why you think you do that. You can leave that in the comments below. And if you are ever struggling to find a source of your language learners gestalts, there is this website called getyarn.io. I am not paid to sponsor them or anything, but you can write what the gestalt is, what the echolalia is, what the quote is, and it will show you where that is sourced from. If you'd like to learn more about neurodiversity affirming care and the science behind it, you can follow me at Support the Spectrum on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Lemonade.